It is now time for the Tag Team Finale of Cal Racing 2018. As Week 23's out here comes to you from Indianapolis, Indiana. Tonight, we will find out which four tag teams will have a shot at becoming the next Tag Team Champions for 2019. So here to get us all things started is the host, Brandon Shannon. Hello, Indianapolis, Indiana. Tonight, we will find out four tag teams in the playoffs. Are you ready? Yes, we are. And how are the events off? Well, at the end of tonight, we will find out which four tag teams will have a shot at becoming the next tag team champions for 2019. What a tournament we have the last couple of weeks. Yes, congratulations to Team Ecuador and all their staff on their successful run on becoming the Supreme Champion this year. Look forward to next year's tournament in Quito. Alright, I'm looking forward to that too, Paul. Well, it's time for the official playoff making, so Paul, go on it! So right now, individually, Stealing Man and Efron Kingsley are tied for the best record at 15 and 8. Grand Moe and Mayma Hill tied for the second best at 14 and 9. While Zach Arneson has moved up to the hunt in 7th place. And Buster John moves up to 6th place. But the big story this week are the tag team playoff rankings. As of right now, Ralph Dennis and Peter Frost have the number one seed at 6 and 1. Don Wayne's Luke Green had number 2. Al Heen Jr. and Chris Rangos had number 3. And the Miro Trail sit at number 4. The teams who still have one last chance to make the playoffs are the Lucky Dallas at number 5. Raymond Hill and Michael Hager at number 6. And Vince Dixon and Grant Murray at number 7. So this will be the deciding factor for each and every race this week. Back to you, Brandon. All right, time to get Week 23's action underway here in Indianapolis this week. And Paul tells us all about race number one. Right, race number one will feature the steel drive. Alvin Senior in the right to the drive. And his brother, Danielle Heaton, taking on J.J. Neymar and Oliver Jones. Both teams had a blast battling against each other in the 2018 season. But have only managed to come up with one win so far in their seven months. Which one of them will make it 2 and 6? And who have to drop to 1 and 7? There's only one way to find out. Best of luck to the first two teams and all of our teams this week. Everyone is on clock. And let's have a challenge! <coughs> and JJ Neymar is correct. That makes a steal drive. Albion Senior and his brother Daniel here will have a 2 on 1 advantage over our Jones at the common moment. <coughs> Right now, the free channel, I'm going to make their way towards the parties. They're going to bring down that coconut shaped fruit. <coughs> and now they're going to eat the fruit. And out here, Senior is dancing to the beat. That means all the Jones will make it even again against Daniel Heenan. Now, Daniel Heenan will have to battle with all the Jones for the lead up in the front on one with number seven. <coughs> <coughs> and it looks like Daniel Heenan is going to be heading for the water. <coughs> As number 8 wins the opening toss for week 23's action here on Indianapolis, Indiana. Right now, number 1 is also heading for the water. Oh, I'm out here senior, and I do believe JJ Neymar is going to be there as well. <coughs> and who will get speed bus number 2 in this race? We're about to find out right now. It is number 1 who will get speed bus number 2. And out here senior is correct. And so is Daniel Heaton. That means number one will move out to first place. And JJ Neymar now has Kamehameha on the lead after being left behind snoozing at the start of the race. Now JJ Neymar will have the privilege to defend the lead over Daniel Heenan. <coughs> as the next beers we made by, the license to drive Alvin Heenan Sr. As we pass the one minute mark. Right now numbers two and seven are getting left behind in the competition all the way back. Looks like Oliver Jones and number 8 also really needed some help. But let's head back to the license to drive out here and see of the steel drive. He is catching up to Daniel Heenan and are both right on their tail against JJ Neymar. Will JJ Neymar hold on for amazing victory? We'll find out soon enough. <coughs> Next BS wants to number 7. He really needs some help. <coughs> And right now, he will be pulling number 8 and dead me on the way back. And who got the next one? It's Oliver Jones, who also really needs help. But he's trying to chew on J.J. Nima up in the lead. J.J. Nima has reached the top of the wall, and he's trying to defend the lead over the steel drive. <coughs> right now, J.J. Nima is going to be the first to approach the home stretch. 
And who got the next command speed mask? It is going to be Melvin and Daniel Eden on the steel drive. But I think JJ Nehemiah is going to whip Armour Jones for the victory, yeah? <coughs> JJ Nehemiah should have plenty of room ahead of Al Heen Sr. and Daniel Heenan, yeah? He is going to give Armour Jones his second win of the season. As number one takes the next to leaving give me poor and I'm snoozing for a drive. J.J. Neymar holds off the steel drive to lift all the jobs for the victory. <clears throat> As the next spear is way made by number 8. That makes sense. I guess people are the race, but he's way behind in competition. Armour Jones can sell, but he now has two wins up on his board. Let's just say he had a plus. But this win surely makes it fun for a future season to remember. As number 8 is where the closest one out with back to back spears, bringing a total of 3 speed bus for this race. <coughs> so JJ Nima and Arnold Jones finish at 2 and 6. That's right. But I'm sure everyone's winner here on Challenge in 2018. No doubt about it. Back in a bit. Do not go away.